Hello everybody, you Yusuke92 here, playing some Street Fighter V. I will be playing Ken the whole time, uh, just derping around. And I'm just here to talk about the game on Brawl. Uh, the game came out about two weeks ago, I would say. But I decided to give it some time to, you know, put my opinion together. This is kind of a review, but not really. You know, it's kind of like, uh, an, like a look at, at Street Fighter V, basically. Get my app, put my arm makeup, but don't worry, we make a comeback. That's that's usually my strategy. I get my ass kicked always the first round, and then I come back, so I'm like, okay, I know what the person's gonna do. You know, and then I can prepare. That's always been like a little thing of mine, I don't know why, that's how I just end up always doing it. But yeah, Street Fighter V, so... I am a big fighting game fan, you know. I try to keep current, I try to get a lot of things that are out there, you know, anime fighters, Mortal Kombat... Street Fighter is my absolute favorite, though. Ever since back in the day, Street Fighter's always been my favorite. And fucking, um, Tekken, like, everything I've always liked. But Street Fighter's always had a special, a special thing in my heart. I think it's because of Ken. Because, uh, Ken is, like, my favorite fighting game character of all time. And it's, he's fucking Ken. Like, look at him, he's blonde and shit. Yeah, so, like, like, just, like, my favorite people, look at that comeback right there. Some of my favorite people are Ken. Terry Bogard and Rock Howard. All men are blonde, look exactly the same, and have red clothes. I don't know what it is. So yeah, Street Fighter V in a nutshell. So Street Fighter V came out, you know, and um, it's a little bare bones. Like, you can't fight the computer. Um, all you get is story mode, survival, and online. And, you know, training mode, that's it. It's very bare bones. Look at that comeback. And uh, I was like, okay, you know, it's a little kind of stupid you can't fight the computer. Because how the fuck are you supposed to, you know, practice some shit? And you can only do survival. And I was like, okay, that kind of sucks. But this is the thing. Um, so far, the survival is fun. You do survival to get character. You know, you unlock, um, you unlock uh, colors. You can unlock the colors by doing survival. Which is kind of cool, but it gets kind of annoying because, like, to get the rest of the colors, you have to, like, fight a hundred people in survival. And, like, if you lose once, you don't even get a chance. You can buy perks and shit, but you should be able to, like, to buy a checkpoint, maybe. Like, you know, like, hey, I'm spending all my points to buy this checkpoint so I can stay right where I was. I feel like that would be a smarter idea, but that kind of sucks. So... Then, I was like, alright, that's a little weird. Um, I feel like there should be more in the package, you know? But, then Capcom's like, yo, you want more in this game? We are gonna be dropping a free March update, which is hopefully tomorrow. Which brings trials, challenges, and fucking a bunch of, bu a bunch of extra shit. And you can finally get the store. That's another thing I hate. All the costumes we were supposed to get, we didn't end up getting right away, so we had to wait, which kind of sucks. I didn't want to wait for the costume, but again, they're all free. The thing, a lot of people are throwing hate on this game. It's such a good fucking game. It's a solid game. It's a very, like, you know, not crazy, broken game. It's pretty balanced. Everyone's pretty good. I pretty much play the whole cast, except for Dalsum, because you suck, Dalsum. No one likes you. And I was like, this is a good game. This is definitely a really good Street Fighter game. I like it more than 4 already. And I fucking played 4 for, like, beginning to end. I like it a lot more than 4. But I just can't wait till it's more complete. The only reason, this is the thing. The only reason I am not, you know, throwing shade. Or, like, you know, insulting this game. Is because it's all free. Like, yeah, we paid, we paid 60 bucks, and that's the thing. A lot of people are saying, like, we paid 60 bucks, we should have everything. We do have everything. We just have to wait, basically. We're going to get our whole package worth. We're going to get a uh, Super Mega Ultra Story Mode in June for free. We're going to get six more characters added, which you can unlock for free. All you have to do is, you know, not be lazy and play the game. Even single player. You can play single player all day and get these characters for free. We're going to get all these costumes, hopefully tomorrow. I uh, guess it said March. I don't know what March, so. We're going to get all these costumes for free. You can unlock everything for free. So, that's why I'm not, like, you know, hating on this game as much as everyone is. Not that I'm a Street Fighter fan, but, like, 
everything's free. So I don't really, you know, like, that's the reason I'm like, whatever, you know. We'll get everything little by little. And I feel like Capcom probably did that on purpose just to make the game, like, you know, feel more special. Because, like, every month or, like, every two months you look... Well, actually, we're going to get a character this month, so every month we're getting a character. So, I feel like Capcom did it on purpose just to keep the game special, you know what I mean? They didn't drop it with all this content, but they did it smart because it's still free. Like, everything's fucking free. Like, you can pay for the season pass, but I don't know why. You can, you can just get everybody for free. Like, by the time the characters come out each month, you should have enough fight money to get the characters. Like, I think I, I already got enough money to get, like, three fucking characters, so... <laughs> I'm not too worried about that, with the fucking fight money, so... I think, overall, I think the game is good, you know? If I had to rate it out of 1 out of 10, I would give it an 8. Definitely one of the funnest Street Fighters I've played in a while. Still not better than Third Strike, because no game ever would be better than Third Strike. <laughs> Third Strike is just special, but this game is probably my second favorite Street Fighter game. It's super fun. You know, uh, maybe it could grow, it could surpass Third Strike when all the content is in, you know, like when all the characters are in, all the seasons are in, all the fucking story mode and all that shit. But it is a good game, you know. I feel like people should ease up on it a little bit, just a little bit, because, like, everything's free. Like, if, if nothing was, like, if this was, like, you see, this is why I'm mad at Mortal Kombat. I bought Mortal Kombat Day 1, $60. Again, that game has a lot of content. I'm not saying it's not, you know, lacking stuff content or anything. That game has a lot of shit to do. But, I then paid 60 bucks. Then, that same day, I paid $30 for my season pass. You know, forget my characters. Then, I paid separately $4.99 each costume pack. $3.99 or $4.99. I think it's $3.99 for each costume pack that I wanted. Overall, I've spent um, probably like a hundred thousand dollars on Mortal Kombat X, which is an amazing game. Mortal Kombat X is still one of the best fighting games out there for a while. It's definitely the best Mortal Kombat game ever made. I'm like, okay. Then Mortal Kombat XL comes out. You know, the special edition of all the free stuff. I'm like, okay. Well, maybe, you know, then Season 2 comes out. And I'm like, okay, Season 2 is looking pretty cool. Tribor gets the shit. And it's $20 if you want it separate. I'm like, okay, that kind of sucks. Why is it like 20 bucks? I feel like season season two should have been at least 10 bucks or something for the people who are fucking already like bought everything from part like you know the regular. Because XL, you just pay the 60 dollars and that's it. It's free. That's it. You get season one, season two. You get season everything. You get everything, every costume, everything. And I'm like, that's not fucking fair. That I have the original for day one edition. I bought season one and I have to pay another twenty dollars for season two. Like, why can't they do a thing that if like you know they see like you know your PSN or your X Xbox Live or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, you bought season one and you bought Mortal Kombat day one. Here's a fucking discount for you. You know, here's like a discount for you to get all the new content, and you know, basically like like you know my B. For XL. I think Mortal Kombat XL, it, it, I, I'm pretty pissed about it, but whatever. If it'll make more people play Mortal Kombat. I'm mostly more excited about the new online that's coming, because, you know, finally I can play the game online. <laughs> so, yeah, back to Street Fighter. Uh, I'm not going to hate too much in the game. The game, everything is free. That's why I'm like, I don't know how people can hate on it too much. Like, yeah, it's not a full game right now, but it's going to be. And that's what fighting games are. It's all about how they evolve and keep you coming back. And Street Fighter is going to keep me coming back for a while. They're going to keep me coming back for every update. And they're going to keep me coming back for every character that comes out. Look at March. March, we got fucking Alex. We got challenges. We got trials. We got fucking the store. We got all this shit coming out on one month. That's pretty sweet for a game that came out only like two weeks ago. So, that's pretty much it. If I had to review Street Fighter, 8 out of 10. If it was Bret Hart reviewing Street Fighter, 4 out of 10. But... <laughs> That's something else. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Enjoy the gameplay. Hopefully I can bring out some more soon.